there's a lot of buzz around intent-based networking. How do you think that compares or does it compare to software-defined networking? You know, SDN is really interesting. And looking back at it now, and remember I was taken in by it, I worked at an SDN company, um, it started with the wrong fundamental premise, which was toss out everything that we know, everything that we've done, all the protocols that we invented, all the hardware that we invented, and let's start fresh. It was a very academic view, and it sort of reflects the roots of it. And there was a reason that people were intrigued by it, because we face some fundamental problems in the way that we build and design at scale. But it turns out that it didn't solve that. As a matter of fact, it breaks its scale. Mm. Um, and it breaks the scale, and they want you to toss everything that you've known and everything that you've done for 20 years, tried and true methods of doing stuff. There was a problem, and SDN tried to solve it, but it was just completely off the mark. Yeah, and for me, I see a big <coughs> difference in the, the planes that we're addressing. Mm -hmm. right? Software-defined networking was great in the sense that it started to separate the control plane and data plane functions mm -hmm. and who's controlling each of those. Uh, but the problem is that can be really intrusive, right? If I have something that's locked to a specific control plane, I might not have the flexibility to, say, move vendors or you know, even across platforms. So one thing I think with intent-based networking uh, that provides a lot of value is it's a, a management plane play. So we're not intrusive in the control plane and certainly not in the data plane. So we're really looking at inserting ourselves as, from an IBN perspective as a management plane perspective. I think with intent, the goal is I should just have to specify the what, not the how, and then I want to be notified in real time if my operational state somehow isn't meeting that intent. Right? That should be in real time. We should have that single source of truth where we're specifying the intent and have the system continuously monitor and produce anomalies if that intent's not being met. So the key is really the what about the what, not the how, and looking at things just purely from a management plane perspective. Yeah, and, and you know, unlike um, a lot of the SDN solutions out there, um, you know, we discovered that customers actually or feel comfortable with their own vendors. They feel comfortable with the history of the vendors that they have. And if you implement intent as the source of all truth, and then you use the tools, the vendors that they're comfortable with, the protocols that we've known for years, BGP, Right? You can achieve some of the same goals that SDN had, but you're not tossing out everything that you knew, and you can still do it at scale. 